a dog had to have his leg amputated after he was hit by a bicycle on a multi-user path. Buddy, an 11-year-old Springer Spaniel, suffered a crushed ankle after he was hit during a walk on the outskirts of Bangor, Gwynedd. His owner pensioner Bob Hutchinson is now calling for measures to curb speeding cyclists on the path. Bob says that two weeks after the amputation, Buddy is adjusting to life on three legs, but quickly gets tired. He is furious the accident could have happened on a multi-user path on the outskirts of Bangor, Gwynedd, that is walked by dog walkers, families and parents with prams. Bob said action is needed before someone is seriously hurt on a route that is being terrorized by high-speed cyclists. After he shared a photo of Buddy on Facebook, his comments sparked a massive debate about sharing the path between cyclists and pedestrians. Bob, 74, said, he was just ahead of me, slightly to my right, when the cyclist zoomed past me. We had no idea he was coming. When he hit Buddy, the dog yelped loudly, the cyclist dismounted and there was an altercation, he claimed he'd rung his bell, but none of us heard it. Buddy was able to limp home with Bob, a retired driver of plant machinery. Two days later, Buddy was again yelping in pain, unable to put weight on his damaged leg. After a trip to the vets, an X-ray revealed a lower leg fracture. Bob said, they told me the operation would have to take place elsewhere and it might not work. I was worried about long-term problems and I didn't want him to suffer, so I went for amputation. When the limb was removed, the vet said the ankle joint was so badly shattered, an operation wouldn't have succeeded anyway. The path where the accident happened is part of the route that forms the start of the Ogwen Trail which forms part of the National Cycle Network's Route 82. Bob has been using the path regularly since 1971 after it was reclaimed from a former slate rail track that ran from Penryn Quarry to Bangor Docks. Bob complains some cyclists feel they take precedence on the path. He said, for many walkers, it's become a frightening experience. A majority of cyclists are courteous but some are incredibly arrogant, from Glassenbrin to Bangor Dock it's all downhill all the way and on some sections, cyclists can reach speeds of 30-40 miles per hour. Some of them use it as a racetrack. It's crazy and it's frightening. If they're going at the speed, you've no time to react and often you won't even hear them coming. It's beautiful around here, with woods at the side of the path, but if children run out when a cyclist is coming, there could be a really serious accident. Bob has previously complained to Gwyneth Council about the path, which is open to horse riders as well as pedestrians and cyclists. He would like to see a bylaw adopted compelling cyclists to have insurance and some form of identification. He now plans to contact his MP. He said, when these cyclists zoom past you, before you know it they have gone. Unless they're local, there's no way you'll ever find out who they are. Bob's moving Facebook post prompted hundreds of responses. One woman told how she is too scared to use the path anymore after her three-year-old child was nearly killed by a cyclist. A dog walker said she was knocked over by a cyclist on a multi-user path in Clandilas. A partially deaf pensioner aged 79 also told how she is constantly being told to get out of the effing way. One person said speeding cyclists are also a problem on the Wales coastal path where the 5 miles per hour speed limit is regularly ignored by the lycra clad majority. However, some people stressed that out of control dogs were a menace to responsible path users and that culpability could fall both ways. 
Buddy was off the lead at the time of the accident but Bob insists he was close by and under control. Some cyclists also chimed in over the unpredictability of dogs and children. The updated Highway Code, which aims to promote active travel, includes a new, hierarchy of road users, designed to protect the most vulnerable users. It applies to all road users from HGVs through to cyclists and horse riders to reduce the danger to pedestrians. Bob said the same principles apply to multi-user paths. He wants to see additional signage at entry points of the path. Bob stresses he doesn't want cyclists to stop using the route but speed calming measures should be considered for the minority of cyclists who ride dangerously. The Mirror Online contacted Gwyneth Council for a comment.